Welcome to another episode of Aston1936.com. So today I thought it'd be, uh, since I had the car up in the air getting ready to do some other work, I'd do a quick check. It's been about six months since I put on my slip low anti-skid plate on the front bumper and uh, I wanted to show you what it looked like. Uh, you can see basically along here, uh, it's basically just a small uh, uh, thin uh, uh, polyurethane strip that uh, we applied and if you check out the other video that'll be linked up top here you can see how to do that. Well here's how she's doing. Um, she's had a couple of scuffs and she's done exactly what she's supposed to have done. And if I come along here you can see uh, a little bit of scuff work uh, on there where it's taken the hit instead of the paint. And you can see actually a much more uh, stout scrape there. Um, but it's actually hasn't peeled away. It's totally resilient. I've washed the car a bunch of times Here's the front nose of the car and You still can run into a curb uh, Above the plate uh, So that's in my paint protection film. So fortunately that'll be saveable But you can see that the slip low is hanging on doesn't peel off when it scrapes and uh, It seems to be doing really well. I wasn't sure how it would perform but uh, so far so good. It's like bonded up just like it was when it was brand new. I've been fortunate and haven't scraped the passenger side much at all. So um, obviously it's just the driver's side. And uh, um, so my report so far at the six month level is slip low still doing good. Well, I'll do another report somewhere around the um, one year mark. And uh, up here you'll uh, probably see a link to how to install the slip low. And uh, if you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I love to hear your comments. Let me know how your slip lows are working out. Um, leave those down below. Thanks for watching.